Thank you so much for joining me on Local on 2. I'm Laura Schweizer. We have so much to get to today. And our first guest, you actually saw her talk about her Hallmark movie right here on our set. Well, now Grace Lear is back with a new song that has made us laugh and cry. It's so good. Uh, the song is called Best Friend for Life, and it's a personal story, and it's a song written about your very best friend. Welcome in. Thank so you. So happy to have you. So happy to be back. I love being here. We love having you. Okay, so Stephanie, tell us about your best friend. Oh my gosh, Stephanie is, she's the best. It's hard to talk about your best friend. I mean, I could go on and on and on because we've known each other since we were six years old. We grew up together. We've been through, you know, all ups and downs with life, careers, relationships, and I got to be maid of honor in her wedding this past year, and it was just, a, you know, the honor of a lifetime to stand next to your best friend, but then marrying her best friend. So I wrote a song as a surprise uh, part of my maid of honor speech, and it was a really beautiful moment. Yes, <laughs> and we have to take a listen because it is so touching. Get the tissues ready, everyone. <laughs> and I would do anything for my number one fan, maybe even write her and her husband a song. <laughs> Obviously, she was so touched, and yeah. so many other people. Talk about what happened after you posted that video. Oh my gosh, yeah. So I, I really had no plans to release it as a single. You know, I wrote it for my best friend uh, with Robin and Zarni, two beautiful writers here in Nashville. And I was already so nervous to sing it at the wedding. The videographer ended up getting a beautiful video of it, and he was like, hey, I'm gonna post this on social media if you wanna post it too. I was like, okay. I posted it on TikTok and woke up the next morning, and it was at half a million views. It hit a million views that night and I was just blown away. I was texting Stephanie and calling her and being like, what is happening? Everybody's loving this. And the comments were so sweet. Everyone was so touched by the song. And mm -hmm. you know, they, they've been there too. And it, as a songwriter, that's the best thing in the world when such a special moment. Social media can be tough sometimes, but when it connects with people in such a positive way, that's it's the best. It's so. so true. Yeah, because I've heard you talk about the good and the bad yeah. of social media, but this really took a, a positive turn. Yeah, it yeah. really did. I mean, it's it's about friendship. It's about love. It's about finding, you know, and about the most special day in anybody's life, their wedding day. And just it, it yeah, it touched me that it has reached so many people in such a wonderful way. And you weren't even going to release this song. I, I think it's so <laughs> wild. Yeah. And yeah, and now it was you a have. personal song and I, you know, wrote it for her, but I also, the songwriter and me definitely when I was writing it was like wait there aren't enough songs that are coming from that best friend perspective and mm -hmm. I think a wedding day yeah it's, of course it's about family but friend you know that's why there's a bridal party you know mm -hmm. it's all the friends that have grown up with you and have seen you through all of this and when you met your partner to now this wedding day and so it's just it's fun to have a song out there like that. I love that you just used your craft and your art to really touch your friend and, and bring yeah. something to the table. And actually, you are so talented. Last time you were on here, we were talking about your Hallmark movie, yes. Time for Her to Come Home. You also wrote a song for that as well. I did, Star Talk a little bit about, <laughs> yes, how that kind of unfolded and yeah. are you gonna be on another Hallmark movie? Oh, I hope so. Yeah, the Hallmark experience was amazing. I got to play Riley in Time for Her to Come Home for Christmas. And it was just such a cool moment for me. I never acted in my life and especially on you know I've done I've acted in my music videos and stuff like mm -hmm. that but following a script and playing a character was so new for me and so fun for me as a creative and so I hope to do it more if the role is the right fit and if it's the right timing I would love to so okay and I have to ask about taste with grace yes what's the latest
latest on that because we need to get you here in our local on two kitchen. I know. I love doing taste with grace. Uh, that again started off on social media and just connected with fans in the kitchen. I love being in the kitchen. I love to cook. It's like one of my favorite things ever. So I definitely still do taste with grace on social media and maybe there'll be another cookbook coming up soon. We'll see. Okay. So what is next <laughs> that you can actually talk about? Yeah. I mean, next is more music. I definitely have, you know, best friend for life has been such a surprising moment for me and, and we wanted to release it right away. So we did two weeks ago. It's doing so well. I want to mm -hmm. thank everybody for streaming it and sharing it. And the music video is, is doing super well by Juan Alante Films. And I'm just, I have more music in my back pocket. So there's more coming. Isn't it interesting how certain things kind of unfold that way in life that you didn't, that wasn't expected? Yeah. You know, you put so much heart and soul and passion into that project. Mm -hmm. And now everyone else is feeling that. Yeah. So it's almost like you got to do that with everything I know. out there. I right? know. Yeah. You just, every time I walk in the writing room on stage or anything, I just want to give 100%. That's, that's the only way I know how to do things. So I'm just glad it's resonating with so many people and I can't wait for what's to come next. Uh, speaking of, where can people see you in the next two, uh, what is it, Friday? Yes, this yes. Friday I'll be singing at the Music City Masquerade. I'm so excited. It's such a great cause and I'm excited to play some songs and, and hang out and, and you're going to be there. So I it's going to be a fun night. I will. Friday here in Nashville. We are going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much, my Thank friend. You're you so sweet. I'm so, so happy for your success. Thank you. Check out the song Best Friend for Life. It's out now. You can follow Grace's journey online right now at gracelearmusic.com.